Okay. What is something I heard about that happened at uh, the Vegas Con at the uh, doctor's panel where you had the various, you know, people who played, you know, Gaith McFadden, Bob Picardo, John Billingsley, Sid, uh, and, uh, in walks uh, Wilson Cruz, Dr. Uh, Colbert from, you know, I don't think he wasn't even on the panel. I think he, he heard he crashed it. Sort of stuff. And the question was asked of the, of the various people assembled up there what they think they're, they brought to the table within their show. And, the, and well, Wilson decides to go, diversity. I think. Like Discovery sort of invented the concept and just basically threw the entire franchise and the people in front of him on the on the panel under the bus in the process. So, uh, if I couldn't be there, I'd like to, what I, I what I'd like to think I would have done if I had been there. I got up there and it's like, you know, okay, gentlemen. Before I get to my actual question, I'd like to observe here regarding Mr. Cruz's uh, comment regarding Discovery, you know, being you know diversity, like. Uh, there, there's a very sweet old lady in the dealer's room right now at a table signing autographs by the name of Nichelle Nichols. I think she could tell us something about, about how Star Trek stands on diversity. 53 years ago. Do not presume to preach to us about diversity. We've had this down since before you were born, sir. And I think you owe the people behind you at the table an apology. Can you just toss them under the bus? You think they're not doing... Mr. Sitting there? I think, uh... You know, first Arab... And also... But yeah, uh, the only real advances, diversity-wise, was in regard to Star Trek itself. As far as television goes, I'm sorry to say... The franchise has been kind of slow to the table on this, okay? Everything you're saying about what... Oh, what Star Trek has been doing. One, Star Trek has already done, for the most part, but also television has already done. Many years ago, okay? So, you wonder why Star Trek Discovery is so despised in certain corners? It's the unmitigated arrogance of these people connected with the show that think they're suddenly oh, we are now the Messiah. We're doing everything great. Nobody did it before us. Everybody did it before you. Better. It's like they invented the concept of diversity. It's the, uh, you ever heard of Idic? Infinite diversity and in infinite combinations, okay? It's kind of taken the diversity thing to a whole new level that even now we're still trying to get, get a hold of. You know, it's not just diversity. It's how the diversity, you know, combines to make even more diversity. That's what the whole point is, you know? So... Ignorant people just do not. Because, yeah, I will see you one Sonequa Martin Green and call you one Nichelle Nichols, uh, Kate Mulgrew, and uh, Avery Brooks. Okay. With uh, a few others in between to bolster it up there. That's it. This guy got nothing. The only thing that they've done different is you have an openly gay relationship on the show. And again, we are so far behind the curve on that one regarding television in general. Will it grace anyone? Hell, 30-something did it back in the 80s. Come on. Oh, and apparently, uh, a lot of the, uh, cosplayers there in Discovery outfits paid because Gary noted he saw the exact same people in the exact same costumes at San Diego okay and yeah not many people can do both okay in a short period of time and I think he actually one of them actually admitted I think maybe I'll, I'll be hearing that wrong but. so okay and I was hearing like 5,000 people at the at the Vegas Con, that is pathetic. For a big name Creation Con, only five thousand people, and most of them are my age. 
A lot of old farts and next gen and original series uniforms, okay? Not really a pretty sight, people, okay? But not, mainly not a lot of kids. But, uh, but also, it's just. Stark Fest Denver draws in three times that many, or at least twice that many on a, on a regular basis. If they've got a big name, they can do three times that. For a hell of a lot less, too, print ticket wise. A large part of the, you know, hearing the reports back, kind of why I tend to avoid creation cons as a general rule. It's overpriced and not a lot going on. Because the one uh, creation con I went to was out in LA. I'm pretty sure it was a creation con. And yeah, you had the most of the cast of Next Generation there, and you had Gene Roddenberry. So I got the got an autograph from Major Barrett at the at the Lincoln Enterprises table. But it's like it's Huckster Room, main events. That's it. Any activities going on was a product of the attendees doing it themselves. Had nothing to do with the uh, convention staff. So yeah, I think I, you know. I think I still prefer to go to the the fan run conventions where you actually have activities and real panels. I mean, one day maybe hit the hit the Vegas con just as part of a bucket list thing, but but as a general rule, no. Especially they're gonna keep running the franchise into the dirt like they're doing. So I gotta go in and park my happy ass at the DMV to renew the plates on this poor thing. And this time I'm getting it nice and early, so they can't pull another number like they did last last Friday, where I'm getting updates. There are only six people ahead of you. There's three people, ahead, and then it's like you know, oh that line closed at three o'clock. They got past it. Why the hell am I still getting updates now? I finally got thing. I got told I'm next in line at four in the morning. Yeah, you don't want to know what I tweeted back. So, all right, PayPal, Patreon down below. We will talk at you later.